This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at GDC 2016. To my immediate right is Jason Riggs, co founder, CEO of OSIC. Welcome to the program, Jason. Thank you. Glad to be here. So tell us about OSIC. What do you guys do? So we're working on immersive 3D audio, and uh, we have headphones and software tool solutions to create incredibly immersive and accurate 3D audio in headphones. Okay, so when we're saying 3D audio, what the heck do we mean? Uh, it's really about being able to put sounds anywhere in space in the same way that we sort of hear in natural sound, right? So um, being able to put above, below us, in front of us, beyond us. So as apart from like surround sound when it's traditionally a grid of five or seven speakers around us, we're really talking about going beyond that, breaking that barrier and having infinite resolution in the full sphere. Okay, now I have a surround sound system at home and it's five speakers and my wife is angry with me. Yeah. How do you do that with a, you know, with a two headphones on, yeah, the, on your mean, head. It turns out it's a little bit challenging to do it with headphones, but I mean, the, the exciting thing is the general market trend is tour headphones, and less and less people are having these immersive theaters. Uh, we see a lot of people don't set the 5.1 speakers up right, even if they have them, much less if you think of the new object-based formats, 32 speakers in the home. It's going to be very few people who have that. And so what we're trying to do is restore the natural spatial audio cues that you have in your auditory system. So if a sound is at a certain spot at space, there's differences in level, there's difference in delays, there's differences in spectral cues that allow you to localize it. And all we're trying to do is put that back in so that wherever the sound is in space, you hear it as you would hear it if it was actually there and not in the headphones. Now, hold your headphones up so people can see. Now, there are different 3D audio headphones on the market. What makes yours special and unique? Yeah, I mean, we've, uh, <clears throat> the four co-founders have kind of spent our whole career uh, working in the audio domain, and we've made a lot of the top-selling gaming headphones. And what really frustrated us was they all used sort of a one-size-fits-all algorithm to try to render the sound. And so effectively, you're listening through an algorithm of someone else's ears. Because the shape and size of our ears varies two to one amongst all of us, and the distance between our ears, the size of our head and torso all affect how we localize sound, that the generic algorithm can't work well. And so what we see is most of these surround sound virtual algorithms for headphones get sound to the left, get sound to the right, but they fail to get sound in front of you, behind you, above you, below you, and they impair the sound quality because you have spectral cues from someone else's anatomy. So really what we're doing that's unique is we're using sensors in the headphone to measure your head size, measure your ear spacing, and calibrate to your pinna and your individual ear so that you hear the way you normally hear. Okay, very good. Is there, I see there's a head-mounted display behind me. What are the applications of this towards virtual reality? Yeah, I'm super excited for virtual reality because if we, I mean really, the, everything started on the visual side. But the thing about sound that's a little bit different is even in HMD, we only get to see about 10 to 15% of the whole sphere because of the field of vision. So how are we going to direct your attention and give you the immersion and let you know that you need to turn or something is happening somewhere else? Our auditory mechanism can get that within two degrees of accuracy if we deliver it properly. And so I think to have a sense of presence so that when we do turn, the object is where we expected it to be, to accurately direct you, to give you that immersion, audio is going to be key. It's going to be at least 50% of the experience. And so we're pretty excited about VR as sort of driving the whole interest in immersive 3D audio. Yeah. Uh, am I correct that you're getting set to do a Kickstarter for this? Yeah, we just launched the Kickstarter a couple weeks ago, and uh, it's like blowing away our expectations. So we're at, I don't know, 1.2 million now. It funded in the first two hours. So. Um, yeah, it'll be going for another uh, five weeks. And what do you want to do with the money? Uh, build them uh, first, uh, but not just not just the hardware, all the tools. You know, so uh, uh, we're building plugins for all the different game engines and the pieces. So. I mean, you can take the headphones day one and you can have a great experience with any game with 5.1 and with 7.1, but what we want to do is shape the whole ecosystem so that the content you're listening beyond that has height, has depth, has a lot higher resolution than what surround sounds bought in the press. Now, your solution, is it a hardware solution or is it a software solution? It's both. I mean, we have a pure software solution that we're demoing there, but we're really using the hardware as a sensor bed to calibrate to your head and to your anatomy. Uh, and I think long term, we also look at how we can use other sensors in your life to do that calibration. So it won't necessarily be tied to our hardware, but this hardware is really opening the first bottleneck of how do you get great immersive 3D audio on headphones. Okay, very exciting stuff. So uh, at the end of the day, you're, you're going to deliver these, these, these headphones. By, by we, holiday, we will have the early bird ones out and the rest of them kind of coming uh, in January and February. And how do you plan to commercialize this? Is this something that people will buy in stores? Is this something you know, that you license out? Yeah, eventually there'll probably be a, a retail avenue of it. And um, right now we're building them under our brand name and we'll have sort of pre-orders this year and direct sales closer to, to holiday in, in January. 
Okay, well, congratulations. It looks very exciting. Awesome. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. This is Neil Schneider for MTBS-TV at GDC 2016. We will, of course, be back with more. Thank you for watching. Thanks.